Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? It's JoJo, and we are back with another Disney Wish vlog. Obviously, I'm back in my room right now editing the vlogs you're watching. I just had to come on here and say thank you so much to everyone supporting this series. This is part four. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe because we are getting so close to 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, and it would mean the world to me. Regardless of Let's get this vlog going. Good morning, everybody. It's Castaway Key. Let's look at it real quick. I haven't been here in forever. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. We are going to get breakfast. This is the first time on this whole cruise ship that I'm getting breakfast, which is great. Kyle, how was the bed? It was great. Yes, sir. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes, we have our final rock, paper, scissor match. Best two out of three later today. Stay tuned. So one thing we can't really showcase just due to copyright, but they play the best Disney music all the time. They're doing Lion King right now. It just hypes you up. It really sets your tone for the day. Breakfast. Oh, Kyle's. Oh, you're so ready to go. It's time to check out the Marceline Market cooking with characters. I love that. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. food and beverage breakfast is 7 a.m. to 10.45. Oh, wow. Oh, you got sinks, washi-washi. Anyone can cookery, everything for your culinary creations. Apple picking, Wicked Witch Orchards. I like the theming of all the different characters and movies. Farm fresh produce, locally grown and open daily. Wait a second. How have I never been here before? <laughs> On the last day, I'm finally getting breakfast. We got a chef's counter, lots of different food. Is that a bar over there? Obviously, as a Disney fan, I love all the subtle nods to different characters. I just gotta say, everybody, if you love coffee, you're gonna love The Wish because there are so many espresso machines on board. All of this is so cute. I love the cat. That's my favorite thing in here so far. Wait a second, look at the little Pinocchio up there. That Pinocchio is not a real boy, but still really cute. There's Disney's private island. Tay and I swam through this ocean, or should I say, we're on boats, but I miss her so much. Hopefully I get to see her soon. All the way in the back, you got a lyric sheet for when you wish upon a star. I love that. Listen, give a little whistle as well. I must say though, this place is massive. Award-winning cookery. Getting some tangled vibes. Snuggly duckling. Bimberry bread. That does look pretty good. Oh, there's Rapunzel. I got her frying pan. They do have a kid's counter. And look, it's actually shorter. I love that. They do so much for the kids on Disney cruise ships, especially the Wish. You got roasted skin, potatoes, sausage, mushrooms, Let's bacon, start with the signature browns, choices booth. Scrambled eggs, tomatoes, egg fried rice, breakfast express. Over at the chef's counter, we have hot smoked salmon and smoked trout. I'm definitely going to try that. And then grilled tomatoes, crispy bacon, turkey bacon, turkey sausage, sausage flan. Oh, we got asparagus, eggs benedict, and large link sausage. Now it's time to grab some food. This is what I got for breakfast, some eggs benedict, hash browns, and that other thing, I forgot what it's called. I haven't really had it before, that's why I decided to get it. Everything's free, because it comes with your cruise admission, so why not try something new? Last but not least, the fresh fare has fresh fruit, cinnamon french toast, breakfast express, and made to order omelets. Kyle got a Mickey waffle with some fresh fruit. Not gonna lie, kinda looks good. I was thinking too while I was getting it, like why did they make them mini waffles? It's mini ship. Ah, mini waffles, mini ships. Kyle's on to something. So one thing about me is that I'm not the biggest breakfast dude, but I always try. I don't know, I've always skipped it. I'm weird, I guess. Okay, breakfast movie, uh, kind of lit. That was yummy. Let's try a yellow one. <laughs> okay, those are both good. If I could get one of those every day in the morning, I feel like I'd be like 10 times healthier. Eggs Benedict. Mmm, whatever this is right here. 
I know I said on the vlog, very good. I would enjoy a lot breakfast a lot more if I could have this kind of food every day. <laughs> One thing I hope to do today is check out the merchandise stores. I feel like they're never open when I'm walking by them. Man down though. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They should keep it like that. Aw, they're playing Lilo and Stitch. So cute. Donald's pool is empty. A bunch of people are on the island right now. So if you ever want to take advantage of the amenities, this is the time to do it. Dude, that's insane. We have made it back to the Cove Dude, Cafe. Insane. We're going to get some coffee. We got some cool stuff right here. Look at that coffee. This is so cool. I love these virtual menus. You got cold, hot, and cold brew cocktails. Today, we're going to get something cold. Nitro coffee, cocoa water, cold brew cappuccino, fit frappe, mocha vanilla latte, spice chai latte. Maybe I'll get that. That looks good. Um, hot beverages are kind of cool though. Oh my gosh. More, more selections? What else is there? Wow. Listen, coffee lovers, you guys are good to go. And then cold brew cocktails. Kyle got a vanilla latte with Mickey on it. That's sick. All right, everyone, I got an iced latte, but look at the character on mine. It's Merlin, a.k.a. Sword in the Stone, a.k.a. My past haunts me. Our final dinner tonight will be Arendelle with Frozen characters. Some of you guys commented that you appreciate when I put more of the show into the vlog, so I'll definitely try to cover as much as I can. I just realized that the Sword in the Stone is in the cruise ship. Look at Moana. She's the last princess in the event that you can book on your app. We saw them all yesterday, part of our Meeting All Characters vlog. I love it. I really like the paddle. I like how she has an accessory. You don't get to see Moana too often in Disney World, so it's fun. With the ship being less crowded, let's check out the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. I've never been in here. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank you. This goes from ages three to 12. You can become a princess or a prince. Doesn't matter if you're a guy, girl, kid. Oh, they're playing the music. This is so cute. This is like the perfect time to come in here when no one was here. I don't even know why I that anymore. This is awesome. If you have a child who wants to be a prince or a princess, I am telling you, every kid I see coming out of this place is so happy. They're just like, they really do feel like a princess. You got Rapunzel and Merida. Let me see if I can turn this ISO down a little bit. There we go. You can see the outfits a little bit better. This is actually the first time, oh my gosh! You can be the captain too? That's fire. Here are the package pricings. So I've been walking past this portrait a lot during the cruise ship and I haven't covered it. This is definitely my favorite piece of art. You got a bunch of different princesses, all colors, all shapes, all sizes, helping each other out of a hole. And I think that's just a good message. Now, some of them do resemble Disney princesses, but I think the symbolism is just everyone helping each other out, all the princesses. It's a good vibe for sure. Oh, you don't see this too often. They're like messing around with one of the safety boats. I don't know if they're testing it or putting it back in place but I've never seen these cranes actually move because I heard this loud thud. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a big boat. It can fit 314 people. Let's hope that me and Kyle or you guys never have to be in one of those things. Knock on wood. I'm hoping we find an opportunity to go to Luna before we get off the ship, but it's a pretty cool setup if you ask me. Oddly enough, I actually haven't been in this area yet. The Census Spa. 8 a.m. to 10 PM. Ooh, this carpet. That was nice. Wow, so serene. All of the appointments are booked for today. The However, they do have day passes. If you want something specific, make sure you book it either ahead of your cruise or the first day. Here it is. Oh, we're good. Well, this is relaxing. Look at that. So sparkly. They got the frigerium. Just a really cold room. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's very cold in here. You know what? I moved out of Pennsylvania 
to not deal with the code, so I'm good. Nobody is out here right now. Probably because they're on the island, but still. Got some hot tubs. And this can be purchased as a day pass. Lakonium, I definitely didn't pronounce that properly. Obviously a, a heat room. Whoa, you can see the steam. It's uh, oh yeah, it's hot in here. You're hot and you're cold. This just goes to show how much there is to do on this ship. I usually love going on the side of the cruise and staring at the water, but I haven't done that once yet. So let's just walk out here real quick. Whoa, Disney Wish. Hello. Every time we're here, I look at this bridge and I'm like, that's a cool bridge. It doesn't go anywhere, but like it's a dope bridge, which I would like to go on. There's the private island. I'm sure we'll make it on there. I just enjoy exploring this ship. Oh yeah, this is the time to get in the pool. <laughs> and they're playing The Little Mermaid. If I wasn't vlogging, I would definitely just pull up and watch one of these movies at some point. So we aren't gonna spend too much time in the pools, but seeing an empty pool means it's time to get in the water and enjoy. First pool we got is Mickey's pool. This is the stage, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it is. How strange is that? We were just watching that crazy party last night, and now they changed the back to pools. We were dancing right over there. Yeah, this is the vibe. The only rules about this pool is no diving, because it's very, very, like, I'm standing in it. Still nice, though. Relaxing. Normally, I don't look forward to doing this, but we're going to do it right now, because it's hot, and it's going to be really refreshing. Let's go on the walk. Oh, that's cool. All right. I have to really go low to get in there. Oh. oh, that was good. That was good. I'm making the thumbnail if you didn't guess. Minnie's pool under the sea. Mia. I just like chilling in here. Oh, this one's cold. What the heck? That one was so much warmer. This one's cold. I don't want to go in. By the way, everyone's solid spot for pictures. Got the Pluto pool. You can just chill with the water hitting you. Oh, the daisy pool. No one's in this one. It's strange because every pool has a different temperature. I just wanted to sit on this real quick. Let's see. Yeah, I like this. This is, this is great. I could sit on this wall while getting rain done and watch The Little Mermaid, kinda. Yeah, this is, this is fun. Quiet Cove pool. If you really want to vibe on this cruise, I definitely recommend you guys come when everyone's on the island because there's no one here. I can hear the music. It's very, very chill. You got the Quiet Cove Whirlpool Spa. You can actually see it swirling. Let's see, how hot is it? That's the question. It's in shades. So that's nice. Ooh, that feels good. Yes, sir. Oh, this is nice. I gotta be careful though. So good. I could spend all day right here. I'm good. Vlog's over, everybody. And now we're at the lookout because we're getting a Bloody Mary. Two cruise drinks I always have to get Bloody Mary and an espresso martini. Yes, sir. Yo, celery. I don't know if he gave me like a virgin Bloody Mary, but it was only five bucks. So, alcohol, I don't know. I don't taste anything. Have a magical day in Castaway K. All aboard, 445. This is the first time on my channel actually getting a good look at the ship. Here it is. <laughs> we didn't get to look at it too much when we were getting on because I was having a heart attack. If you haven't watched that vlog, top right corner. But look, Rapunzel, let's get a better view. Wow, everyone, there is our ship. I love how Rapunzel's on the front. Let me zoom. Look at her. Let's zoom even more. She's so pretty, yeah. This breeze feels so good. We got the cargo handling, aka transportation, 
to the island. You can walk or ride. We're trying to meet up with Kyle, so I don't know which one's quicker. I decided to walk, lol. <laughs> but come on, it's about the journey, not the destination, right? Look at this water. Taya, I miss you so much. There was a cruise vlog from over a year ago now, I believe, where we just got on some banana boats and went out there. It was freaking nuts. Welcome to Castaway K or Key. I really don't know how to pronounce it. Regardless, on this walkway, you can meet characters in the morning. It's around one o'clock right now. You have to be back on ship by four. Personally, I was uploading my video this morning and just relaxing. We saw so many characters yesterday anyway. What a gorgeous day. Holy moly. Scuttles Cove is like the kids area. You can meet characters in there. This is an iconic castaway picture spot, Mount Rustmore. Now that I think about it, last time I was here, no one was here. So seeing a full island is kind of strange, but in a fun way, I love seeing people. It feels more like a place to be. Last time I was here, it was like, oh wow, it's it was deserted. I feel like I was on like a long lost island. You got billiards and basketball over there. Not gonna lie everyone, I forgot how big this island was. Kyle is literally at the opposite end at the bike rentals location. I'm building an appetite just because <laughs> we're moving and grooving so quick right now, at least for my pace. By the seashore, get it? We have made it to the bike rentals. Did Kyle leave me? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Uh, hey, there's my friend. Hey, and there's Kyle, chill. Bikes are apparently $13 an hour. Hey, friend. Hey. It's our cast member friends. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on? Oh. How y'all doing today? Yeah, we're so good. <laughs> we're so happy you're here. I'm happy to so, see y'all. we were talking yeah. about you pulling. Oh. Right. So yeah, yeah, there's yeah, actually yeah, a sword, sword on the ship. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's Where? The, the Enchanted Sword Cafe. Yeah, and then you actually have a physical sword in there somewhere. It's in the rail. All right, guys, we got to find it when we get back. Hey, Kyle. What's up? You ready to bike? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't recommend vlogging on a bike, but here we are. This is beautiful, everybody. Wow. This is so nice. Oh, you guys definitely have to come bike riding. This is like the only thing that I require of all of you at home. Look at this. This is so nice. I'm absolutely enjoying my time right now. I wanna buy a bike actually, that's what I need to get when I go home. I used to love biking in middle school. I will say, if you do plan on doing the full bike trail, it's pretty long, so make sure you have a full breakfast and you're hydrated. And for once, I'm feeling good. You got the food in the stomach, it's not too hot out, there's a breeze. I got my hat from Pop Century. Oh. I literally almost fell. That would have been bad if I fell on the vlog. Good good for the video, bad for me. At the end of the trail, you got water. Granted, someone needs to fill it. In every drop of this. <laughs> Gosh darn it. And you're greeted with this beautiful view of the ocean. I feel like that's a reward in itself, if you ask me. The bike trail was so much fun. We parked right over there. And now we are going to Serenity Bay Barbecue, which is an area reserved for guests 18 plus. It's the same food as the normal mess hall back where we started, but it's just more chill and you can get your food a lot quicker. Hello. Hello. Of course I will sanitize. Thank you very much. Thank you. Serenity Bay is from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Coleslaw, macaroni pasta salad, red skin potato salad, grilled sweet corn salad. A ton of fresh fruit. The fact they have so many pineapple wedges is lovely. Watermelon, I'm gonna get some of this. Holy moly, they got ribs, chicken and beef hot dogs, ribeye steaks, salmon, 
hamburgers and chicken. We got ribs, steak, pineapple, watermelon, and Kyle's grabbing us a drink. Sprite's lovely. Now, it's good. I've covered this before. I'm just gonna enjoy my food and I'll see you back on the island. Summertime freeze featuring Olaf's favorite blends. It may be a freeze, but it ain't free. Oh, oh, that was good. Where'd you get that from? My brain just pulled it out. Aw, coming back on the ship, we have Disneyland's castle, Magic Kingdom's castle, and Paris's castle. I love what they did with magic. It's like the water, shoot, that's so dope. You know what's behind that castle? The sword in the stone. Aw, the brave little tailor. So lovely. Jack and the bean stout, right? Here is a super rare shot of the atrium just being empty. And you can really hear the music walking into here. It really made me feel like I was just in a Disney story. Hey, Cindy. Oh, wow, my friend was right at the Enchanted Sword Cafe. They got a sword right here. Well, that one obviously wasn't gonna work. <laughs> Look at Donald! You know, it's insane. I was wondering how characters get to and from the ship. And there it is, they have like a cool little character car. Look at them vibing. He's having a good time. Castaway Key was fun. We just got back, took a shower, and now we're gonna run late to the Little Mermaid show. Uh, it's new for the Disney Wish. They have three viewings of it today. Unfortunately, the next show is during our Star Wars bar reservation, and then after that, we have dinners, so we're gonna see as much as we can. Now we can't record, but I'll let you know my thoughts about it. Real quick, I came to the third floor because this is the main floor. Again, the Little Mermaid, from what I saw, there's Ariel actually in there a little bit, you can see here. They have puppets, singing, live acting, it's great. And they have a concession stand if you want something. Hey guys! <laughs> they got Sebastian puppet, they got the fish puppet, they got Ursula singing. Is she singing a song or no? She's got everything, yeah. It's good. I wanted to come out here and just give my two cents. It seems to follow the original story with the songs. Nothing too crazy, the puppeteering in it, it's great. Definitely gotta check it out for yourself. Well, the show was fun. Look at this, it's the full-on cruise ship. Oh my gosh, I love it. With all the characters just chilling. There's Rapunzel drawing the front. Marvel, this is cool. What's up here? Just rooms and stuff? That's fun. Is there a hidden Mickey? I mean, there's Mickeys everywhere, I guess. Wait, what's this down here? Ah, they even show, like, the engine room. All right, everyone, with all that being said, I'm gonna end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed this wild night and this fun, relaxing morning. I don't want the vlog to get too long, so I'm gonna cut it and split it into another part. So if you haven't, subscribe and turn on notifications. We're gonna start next vlog at the Bayou, Bayou, I always mess up that word, try out some bars and just kinda end the night with some good times. We have the Hyperspace Lounge coming to you soon. Regardless, remember every day is a blessed day to be live and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.